Daniel, good to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you. Now, uh, four years since Quantum of Solace, how mm. difficult was it slipping back into the role? Not difficult at all. It was, uh, it was kind of really easy. Uh, we, we've been sort of, I mean, there's been a four-year gap since such a long time, uh, but we haven't been uh, sort of resting on our laurels. We've actually been sort of discussing and planning and sort of uh, plotting what we've been wanting to do. I've been sort of itching to get going. 50th anniversary bond, huge amount of expectation. Huge amount. There always is, but this, I suppose, there just there's maybe double because of the, the 50th anniversary. I think we're, 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 in, we're, we're, we're going to put on a good show. And what's it been like making this one? Has it felt different in any ways to the previous two? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think the first one was a bit of a hate, uh, a, well, just a kind of a kind of a whir for me, really. I mean, it was sort of such a sort of uh, a new experience, and not not sort of really really knowing what was going on. The whole thing kind of flew by, and then doing the second one, which was sort of, I suppose, a sort of tricky second album and all that sort of thing. And uh, this one, I just feel, you know, we we. we we, we really planned and, and, and got together a great script and we've introduced older characters and some new characters and it's, um, it's, uh, I, I just, you know, look, it, the, the deal for me has always been to make bigger and better ones. If I've got, if I'm still making them, I want to kind of make them, you know, I want to sort of leave my mark and this is, this, I feel very much with this one that this is going to be very different from the past, the, the last two, but it's still going to be a great Bond movie. How has Bond managed to stay successful and relevant over the decades? Oh, and what God. part have you played in that in the last few years? Know. I don't know the answer. It's one of your difficult questions. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's, it, it, it's a... Look, I think the Ian Fleming is, is, is really where you've got to go back to and, and the, the creation of the character sort of post-war and what it meant to not just British people but to, uh, to, to, to the world. And, finding some hero out of, of the mess that was the Second World War. But, I mean, that's sort of, sort of way in the past, how it's then sort of managed to keep going. There's, you know, look, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a humor and campness to Bond movies that, that, that has made them very entertaining and very kind of uh, sort of a reason to go and watch them. And, and they become an event in people's sort of uh, film calendars. But um, how they've maintained that is just, I think it's just, Difficult to say. I mean, I, 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 how I, and I, I'd love to be part of it. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to keep them going. Uh, I mean, I'm under no illusions. I know that you know, sort of, there'll be someone after me, and so hopefully someone after them again. So it's, it's, it's just been part of that process. How important has Bond been to the British film industry over the years? Financially, quite important, I'd say. Um, it keeps a lot of people in work. Um, and and that that can't be a bad thing. This is my industry, so I mean I'm, I'm I'm obviously quite biased about that. But I want to keep the people I work with working, and well, uh, the bomb movies keep an awful lot of people working at any, at any one time. And uh, um, I think they attract you know the fact that we can get still get to film at Pinewood and we get to film in the Double O stage and hopefully other filmmakers who, you know, sort of, there's a certain kudos attached to that and they feel like they want to come and film here as well. So hopefully they, uh, it benefits everybody. I mean, what would the industry like be, be like without Bond? A sadder and more boring place. I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of wonderful events and with or without me, they're kind of, they're, they're, they're just, uh, uh, something to look forward to. Uh, for me, I mean, if I wasn't in them, I'd, go, I'd still be going to see them. From your point of view, a role like this, there's always the danger in the back of your mind that you're being typecast. How have you managed to avoid that with the roles you've been offered? I don't know if I have, really. Um, I, I just, I, I came into this part with open eyes. I just said to myself, this is too good an opportunity to miss, to want to, 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 want to, want to play a part like this. Uh, is uh, is a real privilege, and you know wh whatever comes with it, you take the rough with the smooth. And I've I've tried to do other work because I, I love working and I love acting, and that that's that's just a that's just a natural instinct within me. Um, so you just you know uh, th th there are th there aren't really any pitfalls with taking on something like this. It's it's what it is. It's um and it's it's not a bad thing to be typecast as. Well, the impact on your life outside your work life must be one pitfall. Were your worst fears realised with a, a role of this importance? You can't, this you can't make allowances for it and you can't sort of um, predict how it's going to affect you, but it does affect you, but you've got to get on with life. I mean, that's, uh, 
as simple as that. And it's not a, uh, if you sort of let that get you down, I mean, when you've got such sort of wonderful privileges and sort of wonderful, uh, sort of, uh, you know, there are all sorts of lovely other, th lots of lovely things that happen as well. So you've got to sort of take, take those on board and enjoy them. An incredible uh, amount of talent behind the terrifying. camera and in front of the camera. <laughs> Yourself accepted. I mean, Oscar-winning director Sam Mendes, and amongst your fellow cast, lots of Oscar winners and multiple Oscar nominees. Does this one have a classier I so. feeling? About I think it? so. I don't know. I, I just think it's uh, if you're given, if you're lucky enough to be given um, the chance to make a movie like this, and you're given uh, the kind of budget that we're given, then I think you should you should just apply. You know. Uh, you should get the best people around and 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 thankfully that people like this are interested in making movies you put the best people into the mix and let them do their job i mean it's a simple equation and finally just briefly yeah 50th anniversary one good time to bow out or was the one more in you i'll keep going until they tell me to stop <laughs> daniel always a pleasure thank you so much for your time